Hello, today we'll be doing Wylock Second Grade Worksheet Lesson 21. We'll be reading time. Read and write the time under each clock. So let's do number one. And here we have a shorthand and a longhand. The shorthand is pointing right at three. So it'll be three something. And since the longer hand is pointing at 12, and whenever the long hand is pointing at 12, it'll be a clock. So zero, zero. Three o'clock. Next, we'll be doing number four. And here we have the shorter hand pointing between six and seven. Since the little hand is not pointing after seven, it'll have to be six. So it'll be six, what? And it's pointing at six. And to see what this is, we can also count by fives. And we always start at 12, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Next, let's do number 5. And the shorthand is pointing between 10 and 11. And because it's not after 11, it will be 10. And then it's pointing at 3, and we can count by 5s again. 5, 10, 15. So it'll be 10, 15. Let's go to the next page and here we have fact family. Complete each family of facts. Let's do number two. And we have something plus something equals this and then something plus something equals this and then something minus something equals something. So we have two, five, and three. So first, we know that five is greater than two and three. 2 and 3 have to add each other to get 5. So the first one could be 2 plus 3. And what is that? 5. And then what's... Since we put 2 plus 3 here, we can put 3 plus 2. Because either side they're on, they still get 5. So 2 plus 3 equals 5, and 3 plus 2 equals 5. Then 5 minus something equals something. So since 5 is a greater number, if you have 5 minus 3, you'll get 2. So we can do 5 minus 3 equals 2. But you can also do 5 minus 2. And if you minus 2, what will you get? You'll get 3. So it's all a family. Let's do number 3. And here we have 10, 6, and 4. So like what we did in 2, you know that 10 is greater than 6 and 4, so 6 plus 4 or 4 plus 6 will have to equal 10. So let's write that 6 plus 4 equals 10, and then we can switch to them, and it will be 4 plus 6 equals 10. Next, since 10 is less than 6, or 10 is greater than 6 and 4, 6 and 4 is less than 10. 10 minus 6 or 4 will get the other number. So 10 minus 6 is 4. 10 minus 4 is 6. So here's the fact family completed. Let's go to comparing coins. Count the coins on each side and compare them by using the greater sign less than sign, or equal to sign. Let's do two. We have one penny, one penny, five cents, one nickel, one dime, one dime, a penny, and a dime. So a penny is one cent, so let's write one, one, and then five for the nickel, dime is 10, 10, one, 10. So 10 plus 10 is 20, 20 plus 1 is 21, plus 10 is 31. So in total, this is 31. Next, we have 5 plus 1 plus 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. So here we have 7 on this side, 31 on this side. So it's, if we look on the number line, or we can just look at this number, it has two digits. Well, 7 only has, is, it's a one-digit number. So we know that 31 is greater than 7. 
So we do 7 is less than 31. Next, we have 5 cents, nickel, penny, dime, dime, penny. And what's this? It's the same as this, nickel, 5 cents. So let's add 10 plus 10 is 20. 20 plus 5 is 25, plus 1 is 26. 26, 5 plus 1 is 6. And like before, since 26 is a two-digit number, this would be greater than 6, because 6 is a one-digit number. So 26 is greater than 6. Let's go to the next page. And here we have word problems. Wendy has 39 marbles. Julia has 50 more marbles than Wendy. How many marbles does Julia have? So, 39 plus 15 because Julia has 15 more marbles. Let's add 9 plus 5 is 14, but we can also draw this out to check our work. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 plus 5. Now let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it is 14. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So how many marbles does Julia have? She has 54 more marbles. And that is our last question we are doing. Thank you for watching.